Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee. Today we have maple from Aldi. I love their coffee. Hmm. So we're gonna have some coffee. We're gonna do this haul. And then it's Hocus Pocus Day. I'm so excited. I'm gonna head to my cousins. Um, and we're gonna have some fun. I will try to take some video while I'm there. But we've got a lot to cover here today, so let's get this haul going. All right, first thing I picked up was a couple of these signs, um, which are cute all on their own. But what I did, and I have a video coming up, so if you want to make one, I sanded them and then I glued them together to make a really sturdy blank canvas. And I made a two-sided sign for Christmas and then winter. So grab a couple of those or one but it's hard to paint on the side with the paper so I found it easier just to sand it so I grabbed two more of those <sighs> guys this is going on my front porch gnome for the holidays how cute is that I mean I'm not even doing anything to that sign it's perfect this is the perfect little gnomey and I love it you could however pop this little guy off and make a stand because it is 3d but I'm not going to do that. So I grabbed that. I think I have almost every season represented here or holiday. I saw this and thought it was fun. It's a map of the United States. And you can color it in. I don't know. I just thought it was fun. And you get six of them. And it was from the teaching tree. And it is Crayola. So I think that's fun. I would love to just trace it out and color in maybe in my planner all the states I've been to because I finally finally at my store found the white nautical rope this is different than the um, twine or the the other nautical rope this they're calling this nautical too but this is like white they had two sizes this thickness and then uh, one that was like a thickness and a half of this. Um, this was 11 feet. The other one was nine feet. Now I did get a couple of these cause I'm going to be making a DIY and I got some just for some stockpile because I've been wanting this color. Could I go to the store and buy it? Sure. But I saw it and I said, Oh, I need you. So I got that. Um, if you watched my vlog on Monday, I bought some new baking pans and I picked up these aluminum sheets to see if this will fit in the half size sheet or the quarter sheet pan. So I bought two half sheets and one quarter sheet. And I'm hoping this is the exact size of the quarter sheet. So we'll see. If not, it'll get used. That's not a big deal. Oh, here's the stuff I bought to do for the, for my cousin's movie day today. We're going to be decorating some pumpkins, painting them. So I grabbed these, which are just skulls and spiders and bat rings, and we can cut off the little ring part and they can hot glue it to the pumpkin. So I grabbed a pack of those. It comes with 50 pieces. And then I just grabbed some of this diamond wrap with the skulls. We can cut it. They can do whatever they want. There's going to be, I need to put that back in its bag. That's coming with me in a minute. Um, I think it's like four or five girls. I grabbed some seaweed packages. I love this stuff. If you're keto, it's one gram of carb. It's just nice and salty. I enjoy it. I sometimes will wrap some like, wrap it around or put a little rice cauliflower in the middle and with a little um, coconut aminos on it, just kind of faux sushi. But I love these for a snack. And they're, I really love prepackaged things when I'm traveling and I have a trip coming up, so I just kind of keep my eye out. But this is something I can just throw in um, the bag in the car and if I need a snack on the way to where we're going, then, you know, then I have it in the car. Because it's not always easy to find, um, excuse me, it's not always easy to find keto snacks. So, um, I am so, intrigued confused they had scented q-tips so you bet your bippy we're opening this up they had rose they had this one they had aloe vera although i don't really feel like aloe vera has a scent but what do i know um 
I'm a little stuffy. I mean, they do smell, but do I think this smells like coconut? No. They're just, they're Q-tips. It's just weird. I just had to buy it to see what it was all about. I mean, I'll, I'll use them. It's not a big deal, but. <laughs> so, and I don't like the scent of artificial rose, so I knew I wouldn't like that one. I grabbed that. Um, in the decor section, I found all my kids have paws. And this one says, be the person your dog thinks you are, which I think these are great, but I might spray paint these and do like a personalized one for Sarah and her dog Luna, and then one for my boys. And they're plastic and they do have the kickstand on the back. But I think these are fantastic and they're a decent size. I mean, it's the size of my head. Yeah, so I thought, and you can hang them or sit, stand them up. You could also attach these to a sign. If you want to say something, I just thought they were fabulous. So I grabbed two of those. That'll be somewhere down the pike for crafting. Um, I found these and I thought this would be fun for the pumpkins as well. This one was open, but it was the only one they had with the blue and teal. I'm hoping you can see these. So it's a, it's, it's fake, like little fake. It's not even diamond wrap because it's not adhesive, but hot glue and we can cut this and they can do one wrap, two wrap, 10 wrap, whatever. And you get three yards, which is pretty, pretty good for a dollar. And it says for scrapbooks, which you could totally put this in a scrapbook. Absolutely. Um, what is it called? Gem mesh is what they're calling it. They had it in all different colors, but I thought the teal and the purple were pretty Halloween-esque. Bag for Halloween stuff. So I grabbed that for them to decorate. And now I picked up, and I have one more around here, these ornaments. Like on its own, there's some tin here. It's a big old ornament. On its own, that is pretty fabulous. This reminds me of Elf, the movie, but it is an elf. And then they had the Santa, they have the Santa. One of these each will stay as is. And then I grabbed two more. This is pretty thick and we could redo these and make like mini door signs or something. I don't know. I've got some ideas. We'll come up with it. But for right now, I picked up four, two to keep because I think they're pretty fantastic just on their own. This, um, that is raised and this is like crushed velvet and the little buttons are natural you could paint them white I mean isn't this adorable I'm actually in the process of making a sign that looks just like this um rude that they have put one out but whatever whatever so I found that I have an empty bag because I did start to unpack everything and then I was like but I'm not done yet and so I ran target I will have a little Target Christmas haul soon. Um, also for the girls to decorate pumpkins, some pom-poms and feathers. I thought those would be fantabulous to glue on. And I also went to, um, where did I go? Walmart and got paint for them. Oh, and I grabbed these paint brushes for them to use. There's some small ones, some medium, and some really big ones. Just depending what they wanna do. They're girls, you know. Um, you know, I'm kind of obsessed with these nail decals. I found these, and if you're not gonna see it, but it's a lace pattern. I wonder if it'll focus. Come on, come on. I hope you can see that. I don't think you can. But it's a lace pattern, and I thought it was adorable. Um, yeah, I thought I would just get a kick out of putting those on, although my nails, I've been mass cooking today. Oh, what's happening up here? I've been mass cooking for the freezer, soups and all that stuff. And so my hands are so dry right now and my nails are probably gonna peel, but it's okay. Um, I got pizza sauce, which is very clean. So I'm kind of excited. I don't even think there's any sugar in here. A uh, quarter of a cup is only five grams. So just pizza sauce. I need that for today. I buy this garlic there pretty regularly. I love it. Um, I did pick up one more of the letters. Somebody did post a comment that they did check and there is one of each letter of the alphabet. 
so that's great. I feel like this was from my last haul and I just didn't take it upstairs, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll show you. I got some letters. Uh, I got, um, okay, so I think the rest is all kind of Christmassy stuff. Well, this is not Christmassy, but I am going to, um, oh, here's that other ornament. The other elf ornament. I just love that a lot. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with this. I'm not going to lie. This is going to have to go somewhere pretty powerful in my house. Um, oh, for the girls, I also got these, like, witch's shoes and hat stickers that they could put on their pumpkins, too, if they so choose. Then I am making a video coming up of gnomes, and it's going to be Dollar Tree gnomes, socks, I got some more leg warmers in the white because I thought this would be the perfect body. This is a very Norwegian print. And then the white hat and we gotta get a beard. Yeah, so I grabbed two more leg warmers, which if your little person has some pretty skinny thought calves, these are thick. These are nice leg warmers, but I'm using them for gnomes. So I just grabbed those to make one of the gnomes. I'm gonna have a couple ideas with the all Dollar Tree product. And then I picked up this ornament. Um, I just thought that is perfect and it will go in my tiered tray, just a little splash of color. And it is mermaid, so it does go gold or red, which I, again, I, I just love this stuff. But it's very firm, this is a hard styrofoam. And they had this, they had a, a bulb, like a Christmas bulb, and they had a snowman boot, a Santa boot. I just like the mitten. And these, are, I mean, those be beautiful on a tree. And I love how the sequins, no matter which color you have it, picks up the, the light. So that's just an ornament for the tree or my tiered tray or something. And then I got, um, oh, double-sided tape. Because we all need that. I found the truck and the camper. These are tiny. This is for the little miniatures, but I think it'll... I might come up with something or do something somebody else comes up with, but I love it, so I grabbed it. No other reason. I did get another magnet that says, all you need is a cat, and it's appropriate. So I grabbed that. I'm, I don't know why I just did. Um, I found in the Christmas section, I thought when I first bought these, I got this at one store, and I thought it was like a ring for a candle right because that's what it looks like to me in the silver but then all the gold ones i was like what is wrong i guess i'll have to just cut those off no this is garland it's garland <laughs> it's nine feet of garland with little um pine cones and glitter attached and apparently they have ones with bells too i need to find those i think i'm gonna make a garland if i find the bells with this Wrap this around greenery, wrap the um, berries, the white berries, and then the red bells, I think would be super pretty. But I got, this is like a pewter, a goldish pewter, and these two are gold with white snow on them. So yeah, and even if it doesn't work out, I would totally just cut off these pine cones. Although I feel like they sell bags of just these pine cones, but I didn't see them yet. Um... Just a couple things left. I feel like I'm rushing today. Am I rushing? Maybe I'm just not talking as much. I don't know. Oh well. I found these in my store. And they are lip smackers. This one is cherry coke, vanilla coke, and regular coca-cola. I've never seen these for a dollar. I've seen the individual ones, but I've never seen them. So I grabbed a couple or well, three to be specific um for sarah stocking for me and for a work exchange or i'll just bring one for sarah for our trip when we go um so she likes chap chap too okay the last uh thing i picked up is also going to be in a video for a diy but look at these and these come in multiple sizes i feel like i got the smallest and it's just it's a Santa Claus tin. You can put candy in it. I do need to get this off. Um, 
You could put candy in them, and then they had a penguin. Oh, look at that. There's a hundred things you can do with these. I have an idea that I'm going to try to make. I just need to do a little research, but I thought these were fantastic for, um, I don't know. I just love them. I love that they're shaped and they're pretty realistic and I love Santa and who doesn't love a good penguin and they had them in bigger tins. This was, I think the smaller size, maybe the medium, but I definitely know they had a size bigger and it's about the size of my hand. And I thought this was perfect for what I'm going to be doing potentially, but you do you. All right. I feel like that's everything. It is. And we got done in 15 minutes. Yeah, girl. If I haven't said so, thank you for watching my channel, for supporting me and all your lovely comments. I, I read each and every one and I appreciate you. All right, guys, I hope you have a good one and I will talk with you later. Bye.